What's up guys and welcome back to my Brooklyn Beats franchise. Now last time we kind of got destroyed by the Miami Dolphins. Okay, we had a ton of turnovers. It was not a good outing for the team. The defense struggled. The offense struggled a lot of the time even though we put up 38 points. It wasn't really a great game. But today's video should be a better game. Now I wasn't originally planning on playing this one. But we have a breakout player challenge, okay? I'm going to play every single breakout player challenge we have just to give us an even better shot at getting these players up in development trait. If you simulate a breakout challenge, it pretty much never goes through. It's very rare. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and play this game against the Colts. But if you guys are not yet subscribed to the channel, and if you like watching Madden 21 franchise content, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And also, if you enjoy this video, if you're liking this series so far, it would also uh, mean a lot to me. I said also a lot, but whatever. It would mean a lot to me if you could hit that like button uh, down below. But let's just go ahead and activate this breakout player challenge. It is linebacker D'Angelo Gatewood. He only has normal. He does not have to do much. We're definitely not going to hold the Colts to 250 yards. So we're going to have to get one interception for us, fumble, tackle for loss, or sack with uh, the middle linebacker. That shouldn't be that hard to do. But let's go into these player upgrades. Quay Gordon got one because he was player of the week once again. This man is on another level at the moment. He's going to be a 74 overall. Plus one to change of direction, plus two uh, to carrying. Definitely not bad. We have a couple other of you guys out here, right? Zach Fuller. He's going to be a 69 overall power rusher with this, so we're definitely doing that. Continues the scheme fit as well. One to hit power, two to power move, one to awareness. And we got Darcy O'Donnell here, our stud defensive tackle. He had a couple big stops last time. Gonna try to get him to fit the scheme, and he's going to. 66 overall. One to Blackshed, play rec, and tackling. And then Steve Murphy. This team's left guard with hidden development trait. Let's see what he's bad at. Run block finesse is horrible. It's going to agile then. We have a, quite a way to go before he becomes a different scheme so we should be fine for this scheme fit thing run block finesse by three plus one to speed you know why not he has 75 speed i didn't even realize that man can move all right well we're gonna auto upgrade the rest of the team and now i definitely have to change some numbers let me go through the comment section of last video so young blood definitely wanted me to change his number i was not incorrect in thinking that last time i forgot what he said though so let's go check it out he said he wants his number changed to 14 and that's available let's go and then william strang also asked to be changed he said he wants to be number 32 he also asked to be white i guess to i don't know more closely match what he looks like it's fine whatever it's gonna be very pale i guess <laughs> just chose whatever it doesn't matter he's a he's a really pale looking guy now Look at you. You're beautiful. Okay. And then Jalen Burton also wants a different number. He wants to be the coveted number 69. To be fair, he was the first one to ask, so he can certainly get it. And then one other small change. George Cooper wants to have uh, black shooter sleeves and black gloves with cross face paint and an Oakley visor. I'm going to go with Oakley clear just so you can see the face paint. I mean, the other one's red, but I think the, the clear looks better with the uniform. Now we got the cross face paint and then left arm sleeve. He wants a shooter sleeve that's black. Right arm sleeve, shooter sleeve black. There we go. He's looking all kitted now. I think that's what he wanted. So let me know if that is what you wanted. I, I think I followed your specifications. But let's go ahead and check out, I was going to say the Colts roster. But first, we can check out the draft. Sadly, we don't have any draft stories here. But apparently Bryce Bush is kind of decent. We'll go ahead and scout that man. I'm not even really sure what I'm looking at here. Like in terms of positions. I guess I could use a tight end. Bryce Bush is alright. But uh, let's go ahead and look at some tight ends. We have a couple first round talent tight ends. Jimmy Spitzer and CJ Myers. Of course these names will be changed. Neither look that great. We could potentially get somebody later then. Uh, but now we can go ahead and check out the Colts roster. So, of course, this is in the universe where Carson Wentz is not on this team. So, they have Cody Cooper, a rookie with normal development rate. Actually, looks pretty decent. Six foot five as well. Okay. The running back, though, is Marlon Mack, along with Jonathan Taylor. Also, Naheem Hines is still here. Their fullback is Chandler Cox, wide receiver Tim Patrick, Kendrick Bourne, Paris Campbell. They don't have a good group of receivers, like, at all. At tight end, it's Trey Burton. Left tackle is Anthony Costanzo. Left guard, of course, is Quentin Nelson. Ryan Kelly is the center. Mark Lewinsky, the right guard. Braden Smith, the right tackle. So still a really good offensive line. Romeo Aquara is the left end. Lawrence Guy is the starting right end. And then this is a player we certainly have to look out for. DeForest Buckner. Also, Grover Stewart. Good defensive tackle duo here for the Colts. Bobby Ali. 70 overall. Not a bad rookie. Left outside linebacker, Darius Leonard. 
Middle linebacker, Anthony Walker. Right outside linebacker, Bobby Okariki. Gotta love me some Bobby Okariki. Kenny Moore, Jason Verrett, Rocky Sin are the corners. Free safety is Malik Hooker. Strong safety is Kari Willis. Kicker, Rodrigo Blankenship. And then Jordan Berry is the punter. Also, very tiny, small anecdote. Robert Windsor. He's on this team. He went to Penn State. I went to Penn State. I pet this man's dog once. Okay, well, I think it was actually his girlfriend's dog. Regardless, it was at his apartment. And I lived kind of close to him one of my semesters. And he was outside with his dog. Its name is Prince. And I pet it. Okay, it was a good time. And I'm happy he got drafted. Because now I can say that I pet the dog of an NFL player. It's pretty sick. Anyway, <laughs> really weird story. I've said that before. So maybe a couple of you guys actually know that one. But we're going to load into this game. The main goal is getting D'Angelo Gatewood up in development trade. Okay, we should be able to do this. I'm hoping I can get this done early in the game so I don't have to worry about it. But we will be starting out on offense. So we at least won't be able to do it on the first drive of the game. Luke Strong, though, receiving the kick. Let's see what he can do here. Not that much. Taking it out to the 24. All right, in the last game, I threw an interception the first play of the game. So let's run this one this time. So that does not happen again. Also, Quay Gordon is still ridiculous. We definitely have to feed off of his confidence. There's a 13-yard rush on first down. He's just continuing his monumental rookie season. I don't even understand why running the ball is so easy right now. The run-blocking sliders are on, like, 15. So maybe he won't ever slow down. We'll have to see. He's going to pick up a first down there, though. Starting off super well again. Eight yards per carry. And also, he's had 500 rushing yards in week three. Seems like a really good, uh, a really good average there for him. We are going to... I was going to say play action, but that's not a good idea. They're definitely blitzing, so this is not going to work, but it's fine. Yeah, okay. I didn't think it would work, but I feel like I probably would have gotten sacked if I tried to pass it. Oh, Chapman's going to be open there. Great route. I think that's against Jason Verrett. Pretty good cornerback still. I think it's a good bit of separation. There we go. Nice job. All right, Chapman's wide open across the middle, and he almost just got destroyed. I'm glad he didn't. That was a really bad throw, but whatever. I mean, I guess it worked out, but that was a hospital ball and a half right there. All right, Luke Strong's going to be wide open in the end zone. Nobody covered him. <laughs> that, was an, uh, that was an interesting play call for the Colts. All right, D'Angelo Gatewood, the man of the episode at the moment. Just do it on the first play. Make it easy. He's not going to. That's going to be actually a really well-thrown ball for 16 yards to Tim Patrick. Gatewood got a couple tackles for loss last game, so this should be doable for him. I should have just continued on the blitz. I might have actually been able to get back there. But instead, it's going to be a uh, like a nine-yard gain or so to Trey Burton. No, I'm just out of reach of that one. I should have been able to stay on that. He might have actually spun back behind the first down marker, though. Oh, he didn't. Okay. All right, let's send a blitz here with uh, this right side of the formation. Or off the right side of the formation. D'Angelo Gatewood won't be able to get through. Youngblood's going to miss the tackle. Unfortunate, but there's a big game there for Tim Patrick. And by Youngblood missing the tackle, I mean, of course... Me missing the tackle because I was controlling him. I wonder if they're ever going to run the ball. Doesn't look like it yet. It's going to be a completion to number 80. Trey Burton once again. I keep blitzing in case they do run it. Hoping to get a tackle for a loss like early on. It's going to be a run play here. D'Angelo Gatewood is getting back there. I hope that counts. One rush for negative one yards. D'Angelo Gatewood has a tackle for loss already. Let's go. We got his development trait to go up to star. Hopefully the game doesn't glitch out. Also, I'm still going to continue usering him the rest of this video. Just to see what kind of game we can get him. That was almost a really well defended ball. I thought Kevin Pack, who's actually back playing again. Interesting enough, but I thought he got an animation there, but he just didn't. But Kevin Pack sprained his, like, ACL or MCL last week, and he's playing. That seems like that should hold him out longer than that, but whatever. <laughs> That's a pretty important ligament when it comes to playing football. I don't understand. Anyway, Marlon Mack gets his first handoff of the game. That's, like, the first play he was actually in for, too. Now, second down and goal. They're going five wide. And he's just going to throw it away and nearly hit the cameraman. No, I couldn't cover everybody. Slants are so difficult to cover in the red zone. Just like, I feel like the rest of your defense just doesn't really play them that well. Okay, that's getting intercepted because the throw is terrible. And Bobby Okariki has a touchdown. That should have been completed to Chabin, but Kai Friday had other plans apparently. 
Now, Quay Gordon has a ton of space. Let's go. No, you can't get around number 22. Jason Verrett. That sucks. He could have potentially made the safety miss after that and then gotten a massive gain. But also take a first down. All right, this is a hard blitz. So this means we're going to slant Luke Strong and try to find him across the middle. Just give it a second. He should be open. He's very fast. And he's not going to be that open, but he still makes the catch. Rakiusin kept up with them like way too well, I feel like. That's not going to be completed. That sucks. I thought I can catch that, that safety off guard, but it just didn't work. Oh, you're wide open. Tight ends just stay wide open against us. It's so annoying. You're so open. I was not going to be able to catch up to you. Dude, our defense is just so bad. <laughs> That's an excellent tackle there. That was Darcy O'Donnell. I'm telling you, man, he gets a lot of pressure. For being like a 66 overall or whatever he is. He gets a lot of pressure. He's pretty good. But second down at 12. Gatewood, I'm looking at you to make a play. It's going to be a screen pass. And that is almost going to be a sack. But Cooper just barely gets the ball off. I'm just going to watch the running back here. He's going to be open, but... The, okay. <laughs> the pass goes to Trey Burton. I'm spamming X, and just my player doesn't want to do anything. You're wide open across the middle. There's nothing I could do about that. I hate that play call, dude. It's so hard to stop. I didn't know what to throw it to there. I panicked. Romeo Aquara gets back, and now it's third down and 20... This game's not starting off well. I'll say that much. I'm going to look for Luke Strong here. Potentially George Cooper as well. I'll look Cooper's way first. He's not that open. Maybe Strong. No, I don't even have a chance for that one. DeForest Buckner is just being himself. <laughs> yeah, that was a horrible drive. All right, third down and five. Just watch Trey Burton. He's caught like half of these passes so far today. It's going to be a screen pass, actually. Get back there. No, Naheem Hines. I'm just going to pick up the first down. It's looking like a repeat of last week, honestly, man. The offense hasn't been great. And the defense can't do anything right now. Hines is running this one up the middle. Almost picking up another first down. This is what you got to expect, though, through the first season of this. Just a lot of struggles. But, you know, we persevere through the struggles to get a God squad. It'll happen one day. I promise. Naheem Hines, though, picking up another first down. Almost actually losing it. But they're going to give him a lot of forward progress there. All right. Third down and four. They're almost certainly going to complete this over the middle, though. I couldn't get on D'Angelo Gatewood. It's fine. Actually, never mind. It's going to be a sack. Thomas gets back there. I don't know who that is. I don't think that's a, that's a guy named after one of you. But all right, whatever. Good sack. I'll take it. Oh, he blocked the kick too. Let's go. <laughs> that's pretty sick. So it's not going to be 24 to 7. I mean, I'll take that small victory. Circle's wide open. He's going to make the catch. Let's go. Chabin, what a grab. Oh my, that almost got intercepted, but instead, we'll gain like 15 yards. I'll take it. All right, we got a third down and three situation. Going look for Luke Strong across the middle. He's open now. Pass is going to be caught. He's going to hold on to it. Nicely done. This used to be one of my favorite plays. Let's see if it works. R1 is so open, please. Just throw the ball, Kai Friday. I get you're pressured, but man, that could have been an easy first down. Whatever. Now it's there down in 10. X is open. He's going to make the grab. Let's go. That's a big catch. This could potentially be a blitz. So you know what this means. We're going to try to scramble outside and then have circle open. That's a horrible throw. I get it's on the run, but man, you got to hit him there. I didn't have time to set my feet. All right, third down in 10. This drive really hasn't been that good. A triangle open, I think. No, Luke Strong can't make the grab. Not the best throw. Kai Friday just hasn't been good today. Just simply put. He's been kind of inaccurate, but hopefully he finds himself. Yeah, I knew you were going to be open. I could not change direction fast enough to get there. Oh, man. This has been rough, dude. He's just finding everybody who's open. How do you hold on to that, man? What are you talking about? D'Angelo Gatewood making a great play there on second down. And that's going to be an interception. Let's go. Joseph Courtois 
Way to take away points from them on that drive. I don't want to waste your time and show like the full drive I just had before halftime because what's the point? It didn't amount to anything, but I did throw an interception. It was just like a pass I just threw up in the air right at the end of half just to see if anything could happen. Resulted in a pick, so the stats should say one more interception than what I'm going to show. But anyway, um, not a good first half, but we ended off kind of strong actually. Got an interception, which is nice. That's not something that typically happens. So hopefully we can kind of build off that momentum a little bit. D'Angelo Gatewin's having himself a pretty good game. Has a bunch of tackles. A few tackles for loss. Now a third down and three. We seem to watch like their short routes. They've been killing us on those all day. I was going to try to go cover Trey Burton with somebody else, but I couldn't get the user off in time. Doesn't matter though. The pass didn't even go anywhere near him. So it's going to be an easy first down there for the Colts. He completely got me on that play fake, but it didn't matter. We're going to get the sack with D'Angelo Gatewood. I was able to recover in time. Here's another screen pass. That's going nowhere. We cannot let up a third down and 22. Okay, please. That was way closer than it should have been, but it's fine. We didn't let it up. Well, that was an incredible punt. We now have the ball at the two-yard line. Gonna run this one on first down for sure. Quay Gordon has some space. He's gonna pick up a first down. And Mike Remmers is going down. That sucks. He's our starting right guard. Also, Metellus went down. I'm not even sure who that is. In all actuality, but uh, we're not gonna have him play anymore. Until he's back, at least. That should have been a completed pass. Dude, Kai Friday sucks right now. What is happening? Also, though, uh, I should point out that Mike Remmers has a torn labrum. So that's unfortunate. He's going to be out probably for a pretty long time. And but now third down and 10. Luke Strong, what a grab. Let's go. We needed some kind of play to get us out of this funk, dude. We can't do anything on offense at the moment. And Luke Strong making the play for us. He could potentially make another play for us here. Actually, it's going to be circle. It's not going to be circle. What am I doing? Okay, I did not, this is going to sound really stupid, I did not see both of those players. I don't know if they like blended in with the logo for me, but I did not see both of those guys across the middle. I only saw the guy who was covering Chabin. I think that was Chabin. But that was, that was entirely on me. I, that was just stupid. I just completely missed them. And that's going to get completed. I hate that so much, man. We can't get any pressure. Our D-line isn't good, I understand, but after a certain amount of time, you gotta imagine someone gets back there. Running back's gonna be open. Spot where the pass is going. It's actually not going to the running back. It's going into the end zone, and it's going to be a throwaway. Okay. There's a beautiful throw by Kai Friday. Finally, he gets back on track, okay? His stats are gonna look really bad today. I'm aware. I'm sorry. They're gonna look horrible this entire season, okay? That's just how it goes whenever I'm using a quarterback. Like, I can't throw the football. Luke Strong, let's go! He's going to make the grab. That was a huge adjustment. Beautiful throw as well by Kai Friday. All right, here we go. All right, let's not ruin this, man. It's third down and four. I don't really want to pass this. I kind of want to run it. The only problem I have with running it right now is that DeForest Buckner is right there, but I'm going to trust the offensive line. It's not really going to work. All right, what do we do here? I'm going to go for it. Fourth down and two, down by this much. I think it's wise to do this. This should be a first down. They're not giving us any respect on the ground at all right now. And it's going to be a first down and a touchdown. Okay, let's go. That worked out. D'Angelo Gatewood again. Making another great tackle. This is a big drive, though. If we can get a stop, this would be massive. It's going to be a screen pass. D'Angelo Gatewood is there again, but he's just not fast enough to make the tackle. Plus one or two speed there probably would have been a huge tackle for loss. D'Angelo Gatewood again, dude. He's been having himself a day. His third tackle for loss. That's going to be another sack here. Let's go. Cowart getting back there this time. Now it's third down and 22. Please don't let this up. Kind of watching deep. That left side is wide open. Oh, he had that first down so easily. He's still going to have it. Oh, my God. This game sucks. But <laughs> the left side, there was nobody there. He should have thrown that so much sooner. Watching the running back. He's not going to be open. 
Somebody could sack him. This would be massive. Nobody's going to sack him. He's just tossing it up. It's going to hit the goalpost. All right, so they're going to settle for a field goal here. That was a horrible throw again. Another interception because of another poor throw. That was kind of in a double coverage, but if he threw it right, it didn't have to be. Oh, you're wide open again. Tim Patrick having himself a game today. So was their quarterback. They just We just can't cover. That's going to be intercepted, though, by D'Angelo Gatewood. What a play. <laughs> Let's go. No chance that just happened. That should be pass interference, but it's not going to be. Oh, come on, man. We're down by 10. I want to go for this. This is probably stupid, but I want to pick up this first down really badly. I don't know if eight minutes is enough time for this defense right now. Circle should be open. He's going to make the catch. That was ballsy, but it paid off. That's going to be pass interference on George Cooper. Let's go. That's going to be a huge gain then. Right, Quay Gordon picking up that first down. Nicely done. Of course, it's against that defense, so... Kind of supposed to get a first down there. We're going to run the ball again against this. A lot of space up the middle. Quay Gordon could have a touchdown. Oh, he's so close. Down to the one-yard line. And from one yard out, Quay Gordon is going to punch it in. Okay, so now we're only going to be down by three. As long as we make this. With seven minutes left, this is doable. All right, this is a massive third down. Come on, if we can get this stop, we could be uh, we could be in a position to take the lead. It's going to be slants, and we're not going to make this stop. No. It's all right. We still have some more chances here. No, you're wide open. And it's Paris Campbell. He's very fast in the open field. Just nobody's over there, man. We kind of just need to hope for a turnover here. And that's exactly what we get, Kevin Pack. Let's go. <laughs> no way that just happened either. What is going on this game, dude? We should not be anywhere near this one, but somehow we are in a position to take the lead. We should have Luke Strong in a second. He's going to be open. The pass is there. Let's go. That block did not, you know, get held that long on the right side, but it's fine. I was hoping, I think Chabin was over there blocking uh, Jason Verrett. I was hoping he'd hold that a little bit longer, but it's okay. All right. We still have a chance here. No need to panic. We're going to run the ball. I'm going to try to rely on Quay Gordon as much as possible. And DeForest Buckner is going down. Thankfully, this isn't real life, so I can be happy about that. <laughs> and uh, now it might make running the football a little bit easier. It should be, at least. He's definitely their best D lineman. They're on the ball again. Quay Gordon up the middle. Nearly had a touchdown. I know... It wasn't, like, that big of a gain, but he just had, like, one or two more players to beat, and he was gone for sure. I did not mean to go five wide here. I can tell you what. This was a mistake. I'm just going to look to run it, actually. Let's just do that. Slide down. Kai Friday. Almost picking up a first. I'll take it. I honestly trust that more than any kind of pass I could have had there. Now it is third down and one. I don't really like the run here, but we're going to go for it. And Quay Gordon has a first down and a good bit more. Let's go, man. We're in a really good position here. Third down and eight. Gonna look for Cooper. We're gonna step up in the pocket, scramble around a little bit. I'm actually just gonna scramble this myself. That's free. We'll take that all day. We can also for sure run this here. And this is gonna be a touchdown. Quay Gordon could have just won us the game. There's 26 seconds left. As long as we don't collapse, we should actually win this one. All right, let's just guess pass. Don't let up anything crazy. We're also going to shade outside. Make him use those timeouts. You're going to be open on the outside. That's fine. I'll allow that because they have to get a touchdown. They can't get a field goal. Are they really just taking Hail Marys now? All right, the last two plays, they just went with Hail Marys. Now, this is the final play of the game, most likely. Let's just not blow it. Can be all the way back here with D'Angelo Gatewood. Trying to not let up anything crazy. He's waiting in the pocket forever. He's going to toss it up. It's going to be caught, but not for a touchdown. So it doesn't matter. We're going to win this game. This was not deserved. I mean, we kind of clutched up a lot on defense. We blocked a field goal kick. I think we got an interception before halftime. 
to prevent three more points. We got another interception on the goal line with D'Angelo Gatewood. And then Kevin Pack got an interception to seal the game. Not, not to seal it, but to give us a chance to take the lead. We had so many clutch defensive plays. And Kai Friday had a 36 rating and we won this game. What a tragic game for Kai Friday, but it's okay. Quay Gordon almost 200 yards again. That's just like his average. It's really stupid, but you know what? That's what he does. He has three touchdowns too. He's a beast. Luke Strong, six for 107 and a touchdown. I will take it. I could not get the ball to George Cooper at all. I tried a good bit. He's just getting smothered in coverage out there. Ethan Cooper, Mike Remmers allowing a sack. 12 tackles for D'Angelo Gatewood. Three tackles for a loss, a sack, and an interception. And then Joseph Courtois, Kevin Pack, each got a pick as well. This was a ridiculous game. What a game to have as a breakout player challenge as well. I'm really happy I played that one. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm happy this one uh, was played. But let's go ahead and talk to D'Angelo Gatewood. Get him up to star development. Love to see that. Plus 5,000 experience for him as well. And then we can successfully advance by. Actually, let's check out this injury first. Um, yeah, Mike Remmers is out for four weeks. Not horrible, I guess. But let's advance by, and next time we will be playing this game as well. Starting out playing the first four games. Then the next one after this we most likely won't play, unless we have a breakout player challenge. Quay Gordon is the is the offensive player of the week again. This man is unstoppable. D'Angelo Gatewood also the defensive player of the week. Let's get it, dude. How many experience points did that give him? He had one just naturally after that week. And he's up to four. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys didn't click off super soon because that was a crazy comeback. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. This is where every step you take is to or die. Where